this slide will be of a fungi called Paziza. The taxonomy of Paziza, the domain Eukarya, which means a true nucleus that's membrane bound, kingdom fungi. There's its genus, Paziza. A couple of interesting little factoids. These fungi are called the cup like fungi because as the mushroom grows, it literally forms a little cup that's inverted with the spores towards the outside. Here is the slide of Paziza showing some hypha. And on the edge, we can see this dark purple band. These are the spores, and they are all contained within little cells called ascus. Here is the same slide using the 10x objective, and we can get a little closer look here. We've got hypha, and these long, narrow tubes are called ascus, and inside the little purple dots are all spores. This is the best view of this slide. We're using the 40x objective to show the edge, and we can see these long tubes, which are called ascus, and inside are spores. Each ascus will produce eight spores, and these spores will be dispersed and become new paziza. How these spores arise is rather interesting. The ascus originally begins as a single dikaryotic cell. That means that it has two nuclei. These two nuclei will fuse and form a single diploid nucleus. We call it a zygote. This zygote then will undergo meiosis, and the meiosis process will produce four haploid nuclei. For review purposes, remember that diploid means that the cell has a full set of chromosomes for that organism, while haploid means it only has half the number of chromosomes a cell in that organism usually has. The haploid cells then undergo mitosis, producing the end result eight spores. This wraps up my discussion of Paziza.